This podcast is presented by Zach Labs. Cosbot, the instant costume adhesive. Have you ever had issues using materials to build cosplay costumes, theater props, or everyday repair? We have the solution you've been looking for. Zach Labs proudly presents our latest product, Cosbond, the instant costume adhesive. What you get is a 8.5 by 12 inch sheet. You simply peel off both sides much like you would double stick tape. Except this isn't that. This is our patent pending microfiber infused adhesive that has a tensile strength of up to 100 pounds. This unique adhesive sheet is instant, and boy, do we mean instant. Activation is different than other products, as ours works purely by pressure. Simply peel and stick, applying even force, and it bonds. Instantly. It's human safe, non-toxic, pet safe, no fumes, and the best part, it won't ever stick to your hands. Rated for up to 75 wash cycles before starting to give. Great in the cold, rain, and even the heat. Stick anything to almost anything. Metals, plastics, most cloths, and best of all for all you cosplayers and costume builders, is all of your foam materials. While it does stick instantly, leave it alone with a bit of pressure for 24 hours and it cares to even stronger. So wave your magic wand and just use Cosbond, the instant costume adhesive. You are listening to a Dynamic Works Productions podcast. This show is available on iTunes, Stitcher Radio Network, and many, many more podcast services around the world. You can find all our content, music, videos, books, podcasts, and more on our website, www.dynamicworksproductions.com. Have questions, comments, or concerns for us? Head on over to the social tab on www.dynamicworksproductions.com if you'd like to talk to us. Now, on with the show. going on fork family it's your host as always author podcaster gamer tim k a trotter uh joining me for is it the first of 2019 i think it is it is it is for you yes okay cool the uh i gotta come up with a new shtick for you well yesterday technically was the first time in 2019 yeah, i mean but that but, it's not the yeah. it's not the same it's not the same it's the uh uh uh, uh, it's the golden, it's the golden penis microphone wielding <laughs> mic list. What's going on, Tim? Did you fucking think I was going to be gone, motherfuckers? <laughs> no, no. Tim's stuck. That's what that, that's what Tim hasn't realized. He's kind of stuck with a lunatic. So, yeah. Uh, I guess we will will throw that addressment. Right out of the gate right there. So everybody knows, or at least should know, Forking Your Podcast has an official Discord, of which, of course, myself and Mike are a part of. And in it, me and Mike tend to get fucking lit <laughs> on... Uh, We're intense. We're intense in 2019. We get yeah, that's, lit. That's what it is. We're we intense get... in 2019. I'm intense. I'm be honest with you. I ran on a treadmill today and drank a soda. That's how intense I am. The same Oof. damn time. I, I gotta, I gotta ask out of curiosity, what what kind of soda? Oh, it was a uh, orange cream. You, I mean, to each his own. But that that would have been the last soda that I would have expected on a treadmill. So, but okay, fair enough. To each his own. Well, okay, well here, here's a quick question. Uh, what what so, where do you fall on the soda for brand? Like, what's your soda of choice? Well, obviously things are a little more limited these days. 
Mm-hmm. You know, I can't just have every fucking soda under the sun because I can't do high fructose corn syrup. But uh, in cool. terms, oh, you're talking about like the Coke versus Pepsi debate? Yes. I am a Pepsi man. Ooh. But Pepsi does not make a cola that I can drink. So oh, Coke Life, proxy. Coke Life, the stevia sweetened one. The, um, green, the green label. Yeah, the green label one. That's what we drink too. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's real good. You know? Yeah, I, I grew up a Coke. Uh, I don't want to say Coke kid because that sounds terrible, but uh, I mean, Coke was always in my house. I think people know what you mean versus the white powdery. Well, I mean, from the done, gods. I mean, I've done coke too, so <laughs> you know. So that, that's those are things. <laughs> uh, but what I was going to say was, um, we get very intense on Discord, and as what always happens is, you know, uh, in this case, it was probably myself who got a little more miffed than Mike actually was in reality, and you know, we we holler at each other. And, uh, you know, and it really ain't no thing. So we're, we're close. We're close. That's why <laughs> it's true. We're, um, we're and, close. So we fight. That's what, that's what and it then, is. You know, and as and as Mike has said over the years, you know, he fights with his friends and in discord because one cannot infer tone or face or, you know, like what one might be doing if you were proverbially sitting at a table. You know what I mean? Like yeah. what? What is what his hands are doing underneath the, the table? Which I guess makes it sound like slightly sexual, but you know whatever. Um, a lot can get lost in translation yeah. when you are typing things on the internet, even if it's on uh, private yet public Discord, like the Fork and Your official Discord, which you can find uh, <coughs> at Get Fork Pod on Twitter. It's the number one link there at the top there, the one that's pinned at the top, the link to the Discord. This is how you find it. Um, and it may seem, and we say this because various Fork family members who have been with us for some time are all like, what in the actual ass is happening? <laughs> like, is there going to be a Fork and Year podcast moving forward? And, uh, of course, the answer is yes. You're goddamn right there will be. Y- yeah. And as Mike has said, he 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 is stuck with me. So we're gonna do two things here. Uh number one, um Discord people, like I'm gonna write up a thing. I haven't had a chance to write up a thing. Uh and I'll I'll we'll add a new addendum essentially to the rules on our Discord so that people know. And it'll essentially and I talked this over with Mike yesterday. But I haven't written it up yet. I'm gonna run it by him when I write it up. I haven't done it yet. It's it's in progress, essentially. And it's basically going to be like, uh, like we, we kind of thought of it like a Pathfinder character sheet, except for like our real life selves. And like, you know, for example, like I would imagine, I'm just throwing it out here, like you would probably be like chaotic neutral alignment, probably, Mike, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. And so like, it would be like chaotic neutral, and then it would probably be something like, We'll, we'll start Discord fights. Are they in true anger and like gonna go go kill a bitch? No, that's 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 not that's not what what actually is occurring. It may seem that way, because as everybody knows, he is a golden phallic slinging savage. I'm a ruby rod of this podcast, motherfucker. I'm intense. <laughs> it's true. Maybe next ep- maybe next week's episode when Tim gives me a call and I answer and he does my introduction, I'm like. Author, podcaster, gamer, Tim K. Trotter. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Exactly. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so there'll be a thing. But the, the long and short of it is everything's fine. There, there is no hate. There is occasionally some, some perceived tension, but it is not what you are perceiving not to sound like a douche and say you didn't perceive tension or whatever or anything like that because obviously some of y'all were upset about it mm-hmm. but the fact of the matter is we're fine we recorded our pathfinder show last night there wasn't uh there wasn't any ill will thrown about you know um oh i i, I wrecked shop though as the dm 
You what? You guys are you guys are hurting. Oh yeah, and you know I threw myself through a window. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you threw yourself through a window and then took the flat end of a sword, baseball bat style, to your dome, yep. and then Kept jumped through a window and table. Because that's how I roll, literally, apparently. <laughs> the Lord's wicked baby. Exactly. Check out our. I guess we're plugging it. Check out our other show, the Fork in Your Path podcast, an actual play RPG podcast. <laughs> Shows generally go up Sunday, unless Tim is behind, <laughs> which I was last week. Um, so cool. So let's get back, get down to brash tax for our regular show here because uh, I was running a little late tonight because I've been out all goddamn day, Mike, all goddamn yeah. day, catching Pokemon on Pokemon Go. Like the like. So I started the day just looking at my inventory here had like all the potions and all the things I had like hundreds of great balls and ultra balls i have none of those and i have no berries i have absolutely zero berries and i had a hundred of each kind which is like five different berries so i had 500 berries mike yeah. i used them all used them all oh, um, man and we actually just got back from a did, have, did you ever get a uh an ex raid pass um jess has okay my jess has by the way, Tam, let me just say I have I I just brewed up a killer cup of coffee, sir. Oh yeah, is it super good? What 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 yeah. kind are you rocking? Uh, caveman coffee, dark roast. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I've not I, heard I, of I, that. I've not heard of that brand. Oh, it's a we got it online as like a bonus thing. Her brother got me a uh, like an on it box it has a bunch of like health stuff. Oh. There's Alpha Brain and Shoom Check and all that, and one of it was a a bag of a little bag. It got me like. Maybe three pots worth so far. I got you. It's delicious. I like dark roast coffee. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah, I brewed a terrible cup of coffee yesterday. <laughs> I'll really? tell you that right now. Yeah, like usually. Um, well, okay. Well, I've I've said numerous times. I'm a I'm a Dunkin' Donut man, through and through. Yeah, Dunkin what's your donut of choice, buddy? Just a plain. You probably just like a plain glazed donut, don't you? Oh no, actually. So I've been. I've said this before, but I'll say it again in 2019, because uh, we don't have any Dunkin' Donuts in Washington State anymore. Um, Krispy Kreme only. Yeah, Krispy Kreme. Uh, we got Top Pots, Top Pot donuts popping up around though. I've I, I haven't tried those, but I probably don't. I wouldn't necessarily because again, can't eat wheat. But I hear they're they're that they're good. Uh, but no, my actual donut of choice is a, I'm trying to remember, and correct me if I'm wrong here, and correct me if they even still have it on the menu. Uh, they used to make a coffee toffee cinnamon roll that was the shit at Dunkin' Donuts, and that was my donut oh, of choice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. It was like, it it was had like, like a little, had a little brulee to it. Yeah, I think a so. Little crispiness in like on on in the glaze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and, See, that, and I like and cinnamon rolls kind of a misnomer. Like it was like it looked kind of like a cinnamon roll, but it was a donut for sure. Yeah, you know. But it was just that kind of kind of thing, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, um. Real so quick, my donut of choice is the uh, the vanilla. Frosted with 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 sprinkles because sprinkles are for closers only. Um, <laughs> there's an Amish bakery, you know, a couple of towns away from me that uh, they make donuts as big as your fucking head. Oh really? Yeah, they're huge. They're like dinner plates. Oh, I see. But it's um, yeah. There there's, but yeah. Back to what we were saying. Sorry. Fair enough. Uh, what were we saying? We were talking about coffee. And oh. your caveman roast was good. Yeah, yes. it's baller yes. apparently. So that's yes, cool. the, the, the. oh, we were talking about ex raids. That's right, because oh, Pokemon Go. Yeah, there so go. Pokemon Go. Been doing it all day. I had less success than the others in my physical group this t today. Really? Yeah, it was. It kind of sucked. I didn't catch a single goddamn shiny during the event that occurred. Uh. Uh, which was a little annoying, but I did trade with Jessica's dad. I got a Mewtwo, so that made me happy. Nice, dude. Um, and then I got uh that thingy that's like kind of like a spider tank looking thing that's like metal and lava or something. 
that's uh, kind of new. Train? Yes, I think maybe it's the kind of new thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking up my thing right now. Uh, where the fuck is it? No, a heat tram. Heat tram. Or a heat oh, the... tram. Heat tram. Yeah. Yeah. Weird looking thing. Yeah. Yeah, like most of the new Pokemon are. They're all fucking yeah, weird I'm, looking. I mean, from you can tell, you can tell by our uh, our Discord game. Oh yeah, also we have a Discord game that's Pokemon related. You can find that pinned to the top of the uh, our Twitter. Go to our Discord, join mm. the fun. We talked about it earlier. It's super dope. Yeah, uh, I have a very limited knowledge of Pokemon up to a certain generation, and then I kind of like. What the fuck so is then, that? how how are you catching all those fucking things then? Because you catch the majority of the things in our Discord. If I'm home, it's Jess. Oh, really? She's the one doing it? Yeah. Ugh. I know a lot of them. It's disgusting. Jess, you're using, you're using, is... you're using other people's labor? Yeah. Well, no, I'll just go, hey, what's this? And she'll tell me. Because, mm. I mean, I, don't, I haven't played since, you know, the, the very be- beginnings of it. Mm. Let's see. Well, fair enough. I mean, yeah, like, like I was telling some of the people in my group today, we were like, what's this? What's that? And I was like, I have no fucking idea. I was like, my knowledge goes to the original 252. Beyond that, I'm like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know what these things are. I know they're Pokemons, obviously. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, we did this uh, EX raid. Well, I say we. Uh, we all cheered on our friend Daniel. And he... Uh, because uh, he was the only one who had this invite. Like, it's like a legit exclusive invite, and you have to be there at a certain time or whatever. Mm-hmm. But apparently, like, it was like pitch blackout. So apparently, there's other people around too. Couldn't see him, which is a little weird and creepy. Uh, but he nailed it, and he got whatever the Pokemon was. It's like all it, like it's a thing. It's like a Transformer Pokemon or some shit. Uh, but he nailed it, and he got it, and was very happy, which is good because we were shitting on him all day because he he needed to catch a Ditto for a quest. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the same quest. Dude could not catch Ditto's a Ditto sh- to set his life. Also, I was really mean, Mike. I was taking Google screenshots of, like, Ditto's, like, from the capture screen, you know? Mm-hmm. And be like, oh, I found a Ditto. And I, like, we were we were basically at this outdoor mall all day. And, like, he would, like, run over to where I was. He's like, where? Where? <laughs> and then I'd go someplace else, and I'm like, oh, cool, another Ditto. And he's like, I'm fucking on my way. <sighs> yeah, I'll, I'll admit it's super douchey of me, but I did it anyway. Yeah, it's cool though. Oh, super fucking oh, funny, funny games. Super fucking funny. Um, yeah. So we're all real happy that uh, you know Daniel caught that thingy. Whose Pokemon name? I don't know. It was it was good. Um, sure. yeah. So anyway, let's get down to brass tacks and let's get into some of the topics that uh our listeners and fork family have been talking about on our discord Mm -hmm. um and i know you already hate this topic mike but uh (laughs) so some of our listeners uh posited the topic of who would play myself or mike in like a biopic movie tom polary and uh i think you pretty much actually i've got the thing right here you literally said no I'm me. I play myself. <laughs> At least that's how oh. I imagined you saying it. Yeah, I'm intense. And uh, <laughs> I found like, and I and I thought um, someone like maybe Tom Hardy or Christian Bale could play you probably real well. Did you think no? Didn't I say this is Tom Hardy and I will have none of it? <laughs> it is. It is. But we're doing it. <laughs> I mean, thank you. Well, I mean, like, what do you think? Would you be okay if, like, Tom Hardy or Christian Bale were doing a movie about your life or whatever, and they were playing you? I mean, okay, I have seen the things that people have said, okay? I, I, <laughs> the, you know. Y- Hold on one second. Yeah, and? <laughs> uh, another another person said... Uh, 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 Jason Ryan Reynolds? St- yeah, that was me. Like, I thought Ryan Reynolds could play both you and me in the same movie. Like, you know, mm-hmm. like just splitting the, you know, how they do the the fake twinsies thing. Yeah. Like, that would be great. 
Because I feel like I feel like Ryan Reynolds could capture probably both of our humors real well. You know, dude's real witty, and yeah, uh, uh, and the dude's. I was ripped. gonna say also Adam Levine would also be acceptable. Oh, for yourself, Adam Levine. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. really? Interesting. Interesting. Any any particular reason? Because it's not like he's particularly known for acting. I don't know. I always say he's my spirit animal. <laughs> I have a legit friend, musician friend, actually, who both plays and sings beautifully, and he fucking looks like Adam Levine. Like, it's disgusting. We call him Adam Levine all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my buddy, one of my good buddies, he was like, if you ever get a tattoo of a flower in your arm, I'm going to call you Adam Levine for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great, actually. Uh... Uh, Nate Fu of our Discord uh, pictured Jason Statham for Mike. I could kind of get behind that. No? Mm. No? I don't think so. No? Not for you? No. Um, but then again, he also, in, in, in badness, he's like, he could see Tim Robbins playing myself. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think so. I don't think so. And then just for kicks... Because I was curious, and I couldn't really think of people like off the top of my head. It's like, oh yeah, obviously I'd have Blah play me in my own life mm-hmm. movie. So I took a quiz, and I took the quiz twice. And the reason I took the quiz qu- twice is because when I got to the end of the quiz the first time, it told me that uh, Angelina Jolie would play me in my life movie, uh-huh. <laughs> and I was like, nope. <laughs> so I took it a second time, and I got Will Ferrell, and I was like. You know what? I could possibly see that. <laughs> so, anyways. I mean, yeah, I I could see that working. Who who would you choose to play me? In oh, I was going to say I would have to if uh, if Will Ferrell was to ever play you, I would have to ask for John C. Riley. So it would be like Step Brothers. Mm, yeah, agree. Because no, you know, or I, or, I, I, or alternately, that. what if you were played by Mark Wahlberg, and I'm Will Ferrell. And, that, yeah. and then it's yeah, the whole yeah, the whole yeah. daddy's home thing. I, no, have you ever seen? Um, oh yeah, the other guys. Yeah, the other guys. Yeah, that is my favorite movie with them. You ever have a desk pop? <laughs> you ever had a desk pop? <laughs> hey man, what was your last desk uh, pop? That was uh, such June a good 2nd, movie. Nineteen ninety eight. So good. Yeah. Okay, I could see that if it was a co- it, if it, it was it a comedic biopic. Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg is us. Yeah. I can see that. I can totally see that. Um, cool. So, uh, I don't have my spin Coast ring. Coast people, huh? Coast Coke soda people. We we've covered that. Coastal people. We both like Coke. We're both Coke. People. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about sodas. Yeah, I mean, I prefer Pepsi. As I've said, I grew up with Pepsi. Pepsi is my thing. However, they don't offer a like Pepsi that. I can drink without hurting myself. They do offer Mountain Dew that I can drink. Uh, Mountain Dew Classic or Throwback, actually, is what it's called. I drink that shit all the time, um, which is great. Mm-hmm. Um, so, let's see. There was... Uh, I don't have my spin ring on me today, so we're just going through one by one this week. Um, so... Last Sunday, we reported that Aquaman has become one of the top 50 highest grossing films ever. Yes. As of a couple days ago, it has officially surpassed the whole monies of the Dark Knight trilogy. Meaning that it is the most popular by, by monies DC movie ever of all time. Which is, I mean, let's be honest... Going into December, who the fuck would have thought that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, am I right? I mean, don't get me wrong. It is a fucking amazing film. But it's like... It, it was your film of the year. Yeah, it was my film of the year. Beating out it came Infinity in, War. It literally came in right at the very nick of time. You could say it came in on the tide, Mike. Yep. That's no? A good one. No? No? I thought it was... Okay. That was a terrible joke. It was a good one. <laughs> Came in with the tide, yeah. the rising tide. Ooh, now oh, there's a throwback. 
Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I could have never guessed Aquaman would have been as good as it was. And let alone like the fucking world loves it. There's a there's a video and I meant to throw it up on our discord. I saw it last night. So Momo was at some Comic Con, like yeah, in some weird ass like place, like like Tennessee or someplace like that. <clears throat> and some dude was like, you know, like he was asking Momoa in like a panel, like, oh, so like, why do you think uh, Aquaman was so much better than Man of Steel? And Momoa like gets up, stands up out of his chair, and he's like, "What you say about my boy?" <laughs> <laughs> and like the whole crowd is like and he like beats his chest and it was fucking hilarious uh the dude asked the question like set his ass fucking down <laughs> like it was kind of awesome actually and tim i have a question for you sir yeah this is a new year Indeed. correct new it year is. new fork let's get a little crazy since we're short on time uh-huh. and our format takes a shit ton of long times yeah, generally. I propose we play a game of 20 questions. Ooh, I'm down with that. What kind of game okay. of 20 questions? Which which kind of game? This, you, you ask a question, I ask a question. You ask a question, I ask a question. Oh. Off limits. Not, everything is, you know, nothing is off limits. You can get well, as crazy as the, you want to. Well, except for the two categories that well, are off limits. Well, except for the two yeah. gigantic. <laughs> that, yeah, we all, yeah, we all know that. Yeah. Okay, sure. All right. Okay, go. I what fictional place would you most want to visit? Fictional place that yeah. I would most want to visit. Um, well, the thing that's on the tip of my mind right now, because we've all been talking about it today, at least the group that I've been rolling with today, we've made a lot of Hogwarts jokes, and that's, like, you know, pretty cool, right? Mm. But I feel, because I'm a sci-fi guy, it would have to be something like you know, like the Enterprise or something from Star Trek. Yeah. Or like maybe maybe the Millennium. Now, when you say place, do you mean like like a location within a thing or like a universe? I, I, I was considering a universe. Uh, well, I don't think the universe has a name, but we'll say uh, uh, the, Firef- what, what the, the Firefly, Firefly Serenity uh, universe. Yeah. Yeah, that one for sure. Probably be a rough okay. place to live, but still. Oh, for sure it would be with Reavers. Oh, uh, well, yeah, just well, and just in general, you know, it's yeah, frontier it's and it's, it's fucking hard, you know. But um, yeah, yeah, so probably something like that. Uh, my Jessica's was Hogwarts. Mm, mm, yeah, because she sense. says all the time, uh, "We're the only Ravenclaw and Slytherin combo to ever exist." <laughs> I can I can see how that would be. So, but what about what about? Oh, I guess that was your question. So we can't necessarily. Well, no, I I said Hogwarts was. Oh, mine for as both well, of you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so a question. Seconded only to by um, uh, Farscape. Mm, yeah, that's a good one. Also, another universe that would be really hard to live in, because that's brutal as well. If you notice, there's a theme running in sci-fi where living in a sci-fi world or universe, like Uh, even Star Wars, really, like they're all kind of brutal, really, if you think about it. Even Orville? Even Orville, Orville, right? Because they've got their their krill or skrill or whatever the fuck they're called, you know? And if if you've seen Star Trek Discovery, like space, space can be a cold fucking harsh mistress, you know? Um, okay, go ahead. okay, cool. So question to you, thinking thinking of a question, because I was not prepared for this, obviously. Um, if you could have a live-action interpretation of a famous video game franchise come out as a movie this year and be, like, like blow your fucking mind away, like, like movie of the year award, not counting the two video game movies that are for sure coming this year, which of course is the fucking probably god awful uh-huh. Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and then the obviously looks really fucking good Detective Pikachu. Like you got to pick something else. Like what would you pick? Gauntlet. Ooh. Okay. 
okay, let, let me let me subcategorize that by like what genre would that be? Would it be like a hardcore fantasy, like a yeah, like, like a, Lord of the Rings style deep ooh, fantasy? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I could see so, that maybe working. Rogue is hungry. Barbarian <laughs> is hungry. Elf needs food badly. Yeah. Yep. I know the one. I played a lot of Gauntlet. Um. Cool. Okay. Cool. I mean, that was pretty What's simple your, question. What was yours be? I mean, mine would be, like, I mean, like, I already qualified it by it being not Pikachu or Detective Pikachu, but I do mm-hmm. want a Sonic the Hedgehog movie to be good. I just don't want this fucking thing that they're making. <laughs> like, I don't want it. Like, I'm gonna see it. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to see it, Mike. Like, it's, it's gonna be oh, one. I know of the, you will. It's, it's <clears throat> like the same situation essentially as like Venom where it's like okay you can see where like maybe parts of it might be good you know like I'm saying before you saw the movie you know what I mean yeah um because it's like you know there are parts of that movie that they got very very right and there are parts that got very very wrong you know and it's just everything I see about this fucking Sonic the Hedgehog movie with the exception of maybe the actual voice of Sonic the Hedgehog like I think he'll he will do a very good job but just this fucking monster (laughs) that they're fucking teasing us with is just it hurts me down to my core mike it hurts me down to my core so if, if you wanted an alternate i would say zelda give me a zelda movie yeah and I get, uh i could get, get down with that you know and and i don't really care you could do it live action you could do it like cgi hybrid maybe for whatever reason you know you could do it like fucking lion king or oh, yeah. uh, or, or Dumbo, uh, da, 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 da. maybe less so with Dumbo. That one looks like it's got a lot, lot of live action in it. But um, the thing before Lion King, uh, uh, Jungle Book. Oh, the ones like Beauty and the Beast. I haven't seen that. I have, I, I have not seen the new Disney <laughs> one. I said no, I did. <laughs> okay, cool. So your question. So that's one question. Wasn't okay. It? Yes. Okay. That was cool. One question each. All right, down to nineteen. Well, this is just called 22 questions. We'll go until the time runs out, whatever we get to. Okay. Fast forward five to ten years. Okay. The Fork in Your Ear is a popular uh, mm. podcast network. Mm. Like, all the okay. shows magically take off. Okay. We get money, like, kind of funny. Okay. Hopefully better but than that, because they're not doing it so well right now. Well, when, when, they were, well, when they were killing it, you know. When they had their original to, crew? Uh, <laughs> Enough that we could quit our jobs and do oh. that full time. Yeah. Okay. We decide to podcast and record for YouTube mm-hmm. a world adventure for Ooh, us. Yeah, that'd be dope. Mm-hmm. The first adventure. So we're, basically what it would do is it would work out. You get a place. I get a place. We do four episodes each. That's the, se- that's the season. So we, it's basically two adventures, w- which we splice together as uh, Tim... Tim and Mike fork the world part one. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. What would your adventure be? <sighs> well, my my knee jerk is 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 like something in Japan. Like okay. tooling all like the famous like sushi places and like going around. But I know you've been there. So that's yeah. less of adventure for you. You would basically be my tour guide at that point. Yeah, but I think you would be yeah, I think you would enjoy it because of my my familiar you know, I'm I'm familiar yeah it. yeah yeah you fucking live even for a bit you know even on the parallel because it hasn't been around for a while i mean i haven't been there for a while sure uh yeah I but mean, but yeah what, I, what would be your backup oh uh, probably a place like ireland or scotland just because like that's where you know my heritage is from castles and, and touring whiskey and places. like yeah you know and bars and you know haggis and all that shit you know like i'm down with that stuff you know yeah. Uh, so I would say that. If I wanted to be crazy, okay, okay, I have a crazy and I have a safe. Okay, go for it. Crazy, we go to Peru, we okay. take ayahuasca, we trip balls, and have a life-changing experience. <laughs> and, the, okay. and the four episodes would literally be us getting to Peru, me flipping the fuck out because we're in Peru and I don't do camping. Oh yeah, that's doing... right. And I'd be yeah, all like, it... "This is not a big deal, but yeah. these exactly." And then realizing <laughs> we're gonna go do ayahuasca, we go do ayahuasca. The second episode is us tripping nuts on ayahuasca. You know, it, I assume that it's some kind of thing like peyote or something. 
Yeah, it's because I don't know what that crazy. is. It's eight okay. hours of tripping. Okay. And apparently, you come back different. Okay. We take it one day. I think it's a ten day retreat. So the first, the first, the second episode is like day three, four, five, something mm-hmm. like that. Day f- episode three is six, seven, eight, and that's us taking it again. Oh, okay. Like a strong, like asking them for a stronger dose, and if they gave it mm-hmm. to us, we go again. Okay. Or you don't go, and I go. You know, depending on how how we feel, right? Then the last episode is us talking about our experiences, talking about it together, recording an episode live in Peru. We go, see you in Fork the World Part 2. The, mm. You know, we'll give it the forkening or whatever. The forking. Coming da-da-da-da-da, whatever date. That's yeah. it. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That would be the second half of our journey. Okay. What would your uh, next question for you, sir? These are harder than you thought. They right? are really hard. Well, especially because like I had I had no prep whatsoever. Like I would have given some more thought yeah. about things. Um what is a video game franchise that you know is like not very good? Like factually, like like it's it's not really high scoring. Um it's not very popular, but you fucking love it anyway that you would love to have a new game and then it like blow everybody's socks off. Viva Piñata. Ooh. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get another Viva Piñata for a while. I'm, no, I'm going to say that right now. But it was a, but it, I loved it. Oh yeah. That's a really good game though. Like see see but that's the thing though. That that game was rated high. So I don't think that counts, Mike. So I'm talking about a game like so for example, I loved the fucking video game Advent Rising. That is a 6.0 or lower video game. Look it up on Metacritic. However, okay. I fucking love the story. When the game didn't crash and the lock-on <sighs> system wasn't broken, it was a fucking amazing game. But the game was the, the game was dirty. You know what I mean? Like I would love for a sequel to that, which I'm never gonna get because that it doesn't the developer doesn't exist anymore. All those team members have moved over to Epic Games. You know, like it's just never gonna happen, unfortunately. So that, that, as an example, like that's what I'm thinking. Because I can't say Shenmue because that fucking shit's coming out this year. <laughs> yeah. So you know, uh, I would love, I would love to see another Soul Reaver, Ooh. or or Legacy of Kane game. Yeah, I can see that. Those were sixes and sevens, but people remember them fondly. I I do. Me. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, so Crystal Dynamics still owns that franchise, by the way. Yeah. I just don't, do. I just don't think, I think it'll be a while before they return to that. Because they had their success with Tomb Raider, and they're working on an Avengers game right now. So. That's what I'm saying, because with Tomb Raider being so excellent, like, I've seen stuff on Tomb Raider. It looks fun. That's I just great. don't want to be a human. Oh, I want to be a goddamn vampire in that, in that type of world. That type of world would be dope as a vampire. <laughs> Yeah, I could see that. I could see that, like, maybe after they're done with Avengers, or unfortunately, if maybe Avengers isn't good for whatever reason, you know, then maybe going back to some of their roots. But we got to also remember, this is the same developer um, on that same topic that made the Gex games, which I yeah. actually really liked, too. But those were cr- critically panned by, like, lots of people. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's there's, there's that. Kind of thing. Okay, cool. So question uh, 18, Mike. This is, is really hard. Are yours? Uh, uh, it's, it's aren't mine. you always leading? Because I just asked yeah. the thing. Yeah, you said. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Uh, wow. What's the most interesting place you've ever been? What's the most interesting place I've ever been? We're all inspiring, I should say. Uh, I should say. So there's this. Oh my God, Oregon people, forgive me. So there's this place in Portland, Oregon, uh, that I went to, and there's like a monastery, and there's like this. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It looks like something out of a video game. Like it's built under the top of this cliff, and it overlooks like the Portland city proper. Mm-hmm. I think it's like a national landmark or something. And it's like this tile walkway across water into like this weird 
it's kind of like geometric shaped looking thing with uh with like a like a Jesus thingy at the end and it overlooks like the whole fucking city and it's like it's like it like overhangs this cliff mm-hmm. um and there's like water running and it's like you know super like it was really wild like i couldn't believe somebody had like built like a place like that like it yeah. looked like a fucking super villain lair essentially but in kind of like a um for you destiny fans out there it was kind of vaulted glassy mm-hmm. like like the end altar throne room area like it was kind of like that but like like a logical structure or whatever and i remember being there and i like like i entered the room and like it was like just a nice room and it just had like you know jesus on the cross there you know whatever but just like I don't know. There's something about that place, and like you saw like the whole fucking Portland city, Mm -hmm. Um, and like I don't know. Like I sat my ass down, and I like just I just chilled for like a full like twenty minutes. Yeah, took everything in. Yeah, and it's you know, as it was kind of odd because it was like that was kind of like the last thing I expected to do, because like whichever whichever one that was. Whichever, whichever religious affiliation that that area was like is not is not is not my thing, you know. But like, I was looking there anyway. But it was like I don't know. It was cool. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Is is very odd, and I I like still think about that place to this day. Honestly, like, I would just like replicate that. Like, if I was like a super villain or super rich, I would just have like a crazy office like that. Somewhere, yeah, that overlooked the city, about. like a goddamn supervillain, you know. Yeah, like it looked like that place of like, just like a big ass, like imposing room that like overlooked the city. And if there was like a chair at the end, and you turn around, it was like, so we meet again, Mister Bond, or something like that. But it was also like a deeply religious and spiritual place too. At the same time, like it had a history, you know, mm-hmm. and like you felt it, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like one of those places. I don't, you I don't know feel, how else to describe you can feel it. Feel the power of the place. Yeah, the, and not the power, the energy. The, the power is a bad, uh, you know. That's not the the correct word for it. It's like an energy. Sure. Maybe. I mean, I don't know what is the correct word. You feel something. Yeah. <laughs> so I would say that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, I've had the pleasure of climbing Mount Fuji twice. Well, Ooh. more than twice. Yeah, I've heard that's but, cool. Uh, the, that would, that would be two... on that hypothetical trip, Mike. <laughs> oh, g- hell yeah. Because then we could get a, a walking stick and have it burned. With, Is uh, that and then a at thing? the end, put a fork on it. Oh, okay. And that could be in our set oh. for our hypothetical uh, nice. studio. Um, but, but I got to take it. I got to uh, hike it. At sunrise and, and see the sunrise coming over the mount uh, over the mm-hmm. countryside of Japan and at sunset, mm. we got to see it. Well, already, it's all inspiring. I guess gorgeous. Like what what happened is any any time one of our group uh, would leave, you know, uh-huh. get cycled back to the states, we were uh, we would go, we would hike it, and then at the end, just you know, hug it up, mm-hmm. have a few beers, party. So I gotcha. yeah, day and night, uh, sunrise, sunset. I had to say sunset was 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 doper to me. Okay. I have to think of a question. Really not prepared for this, you bastard. Um, yeah. we'll give you a little Dolores Wicket. Give me a little Dolores Wicket. Yeah, what? throw in throw in un, uh, unscheduled things at you. Hell throw in yeah. off the wall shit at you, buddy. Yeah, that's true. Um, if you could have any one like weapon from like movie, video games, TV, you know, fiction, you could have any uh-huh. one weapon be like real that you could like have. What would it be? Ooh, uh, what weapon? Yeah. What I have, oh man, yeah, it's that's a toughie, right? 
That's a toughie. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> That's a tough question. That is a, that is a tough, tough question. Tough question. Because it's like there's uh, so many good video ones. game, I would have said Masamune from uh, the uh-huh. Seph- from from Final Fantasy, Seth, the Sephiroth sword. Yeah, uh, there's a better sword than that in Final Fantasy. But I, yeah, I understand. No. I understand Tut- what you mean. No, I like Sephiroth. Uh, I mean, he's dope. Oh, man. Right? I would have to say... <laughs> Oh fuck! Right. <laughs> I'm gonna be weird. I'm gonna do an off the wall one. Okay. Uh, do you remember the movie uh, the four, the Fifth Element? Do I fucking remember the okay. movie The Fifth Element? Are you kidding me right now? Seen, some people haven't seen it. I'm just being inclusive here. Uh, All right. I'll, the gun, hang on. Pause the, the sh- Pause in the show for a soapbox here, Mike. <laughs> So, we don't have time for soapbox, Tim. No, run the guy every just, quarter. Let's go. I'm just saying, Fifth Element is life, my friend. Yes, and I agree. The Citadel Arrival, my book, is inspired by the Fifth Element, and you can see some of its fucking uh, inflections and inspirations from that. If you pick up my book, available right now on Amazon, Kindle, and iTunes, and bookstore for only two ninety nine. So, of course, I fucking know the Fifth Element. But anyway, carry on. The gun. The gun. Oh yeah, the uh, yeah. the 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 kick ass whatever fifty five thousand that like has like tracing up. bullets and infrared heat vision flame flamethrower tarp harpoon gun, like it's just a ludicrous weapon. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, that was a tough one. I know. What would yours be? Oh, see now this one I've got locked in. This one would be the book version of the Sword <laughs> of Truth. Because oh, yeah. it is a okay. fucking doom slayer. <laughs> like, you have no idea. Like, I know you've only seen the show, but like you have no fucking idea how fucking powerful that thing is. Like, it would it would blow your mind if you knew. Honestly. <laughs> it's basically a holy avenger from for Pathfinder. I mean, I, I don't know what that is in Pathfinder, but it, it I can is. tell you right now it, that that sort it's of thing. Clo- it's a clo- I, I remember I've done I've done a little Obviously, I watched it, but I did a little research because maybe, yeah. maybe you might see uh, a few classes inspired by. Uh... Yeah, that'd be dope. Uh, yeah. Anyways, you know, maybe, maybe you may see a confessor. Okay. Question seventeen, Mike. Yes, sir. Back, back to you. Or is it to me? No, I said that it's one, you. so it's you. Oh, it's me. Yeah, because uh... you asked me, well, what would I do on that same question? What did you have for breakfast this morning? What did I have for breakfast this morning? Yeah. I had um, eggs scrambled with uh, telecherry peppercorn, and then I have this uh, dry salsa called Yoli's that's made locally here, um, and bacon. And then I also had a, a bagel with strangely whipped cream cheese because Jessica accidentally bought whipped cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that's what happened there. <laughs> what about you, good sir? Uh, I had this morning uh, homemade sausage, biscuits, and gravy. Mm. Uh, that's an old favorite. An orange, a banana, an apple. Damn, son. Uh, that was that was first breakfast. Second breakfast <laughs> was uh, jasmine rice, Ooh. two fried eggs over easy. Ooh. Uh, a cheese crust, like basically, I took the cheese and put it in the pan, so it got crusty, sort of like a crouton. Oh yeah, yeah, and, no, a, no, and a half an avocado. Mm, mm, okay. Wow, wow, that's 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 a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, eat, I eat a lot of calories. Yeah, indeed. Okay, cool. Uh, what is the last? handheld game that wasn't on the switch you played that you like picked up and started playing it and thinking like oh i'm gonna play this thing for a little bit and then you like lose all track of time and realize like i've lost sleep now apparently over this fucking thing (coughs) that's easy pokemon pokemon black okay i remember it precisely being pokemon black because uh i discovered online a a local like you know, just on board. Basically, you trade mm-hmm. friends, you, you trade friend codes, and people play uh, their own versions of gyms 
and uh, huh. and the Elite Four and a champion. Oh, that's cool. And I got into that. Sweet. I was Professor Hemlock on that board. So if any <laughs> listeners holler at me, you know who I am. That's right. I'm going to fucking put you to sleep. Belly drum, baton pass, beat you with my Snorlax. You know who it is. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, question 16. Uh, what kind of art do you enjoy the most? What kind of art do I enjoy the most? Yeah. I... I'm going to throw a bit of a curveball on this one. I enjoy art that inspires me so much. As a writer, I can envision an entirely different universe. Is that, that a sufficient answer? No, I, I, I feel it all the time because it's. I was going to say music. I, oh, I, I never thought about that. Think, I was thinking think like about, art. art. <laughs> music is art. Well... You know what I mean? Like, I was thinking, like... Yeah, like, sculpture or painting and stuff. I get it. Yeah. No, I, okay. I mean, to me, music is art. It would, I, I can listen to uh, a song and then just automatically... St- my pen, my hand starts writing something dope, and, I mean, we're playing it now. So, pre- <laughs> thank you, Coheed and Cambria, for the <laughs> Fork in Your Path podcast. Available anywhere you can get your podcast. That's right. Um... Okay. Um, what is a video game that changed your life forever? Forever? Yeah. Like for you personally? Oh, like oh, it, this, this... like it, like changed your course of being, or inspired something, or you know something like that. Something like extremely dramatic. Destiny. Okay. The the Destiny franchise changed my life for the better. Okay, fair enough. I mean, look where look what it's gotten me. It's got me the craziest best friends I could ever ask for. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand what you mean. We we talked about it on Discord. We talked about it on the phone <laughs> just last night. Yeah, that too. Okay, cool. So then that's question fifteen to you, good sir. What crazy wild animal would you most like to have as a pet? Crazy what? You broke up a little. Wild animal. Oh, wild animal. Like, did you know Mike Tyson had a tiger? I did. That kind of shit. Because we all seen The Hangover. <laughs> <laughs> did you see my tiger? Yeah. God. Um... I would say like a crazy animal. I would say I would say something like like a fucking like a fucking grizzly. You know? Like if I could have, you know, because I've seen some motherfuckers who have grizzlies as their like best friends. (laughs) Yeah. You know? And and it's just like how they don't accidentally crush their quote unquote friend mm-hmm. is beyond me. Like, I'm just like, I get that they raised them from like a baby, you know? And it's like, it's, it's instinct. It's like built in at that point. You know what I mean? But damn, when you wrestling with a fucking grizzly, yeah, man, <laughs> like, holy balls. Do you a have some balls and b like like I feel like that's the kind of relationship where like you have to have unconditional love for that grizzly and like because yeah, like yeah, if you don't it has to know you're done yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are done in a nanosecond you know but like it would be cool like I would like I don't know a grizzly I guess I mean you guys got to see it. You, you and the uh, Fork in Your Path guys got to see Pete, how big Pete is right now. Yeah, Pete's gigantic. Yeah, he's a, he's a monster. Uh, you know, because like a grizzly is basically like a non-fat Snorlax with mm-hmm. fucking razor claws and teeth. The only difference between a grizzly and a, and a brown bear is the diet. 
Well, and the size. I've well, seen, that's because I've, of the diet. I've seen lots of lots of brown and black bears. And that's because, and that's actually because of the diet. Because they eat better, mm-hmm. they can get bigger. And a polar bear is basically a white grizzly bear. Well, that's true, but their temperament's different. Oh yeah, yeah, like grizzly way bears different. Because <laughs> ironically, polar bears are chill. <laughs> So, yeah, one of those things. Okay, cool. Um, fuck, I guess that question's mine now. Uh Okay, uh same question as before, different category. What movie changed your life forever? Oh, man. Yeah, that's a that's a little tougher, I think. Stalag 17. I have no idea what that is. It's like the Hogan's Heroes. It's Hogan's Heroes, but in movie form. Uh, I watched it with my dad the day before. uh, I stayed up all night Uh spending time with people. And I I asked my dad, like, hey, what do you want to do? And he's like, I want to have a beer with you and watch a movie. And I said, all right, dad, what movie is it? He's like, Stalag 17. And it wasn't like he planned it. It was just on TBS. Uh That's how good my dad was. Uh And it's, I mean, I love, I love Hogan's Heroes, so it's pretty much, you know, I, it, was, it, was, it changed my life, and I, I, I'll watch it every time I see it. I, do, I actually bought it on DVD. That's how much it means to me. Okay. Cool. What about you? Ooh, a movie? I feel like it's a little bit of a toss-up between... And this is going to sound real odd, these two choices. Mm-hmm. Maybe, I mean, I, I won't say or not say that your choice is odd because I don't know anything about that movie. But I, I get Hogan's Heroes, fine. It's kind of like that, okay? Um, yeah. It's kind of a toss-up for me between Serenity and Terminator 2. And I'll tell you why. So Terminator 2 was the first movie... Judgment Day. That gave, yeah, Judgment Day, of course. <laughs> What do you what do you think? I'm fucking some kind of savage. <laughs> Judgment Day. It, it had to be said. Exactly. Exactly. Um, it was the first movie that like I could not stop watching, but I would literally go to bed fucking terrified that Fair. fucking Terminators were going to kill me. Like, just fucking terrified. Like, like I gotta go. Like if I'm like, like if I'm somewhere like I gotta go wake somebody up, and I gotta be like the fucking Terminators are coming, fucking mm-hmm. like they're coming, like we don't we don't got so much time to prepare, you know. And as I got older, like it was weird. Like as a as a kid, like I could appreciate how fucking good the movie was, you know. Like it was yeah. it was the first movie I can remember. Like I appreciate the fuck out of this movie. This movie terrifies me till I fucking piss my pants. But I can't stop watching, and I don't know why. And then as I got older, and I, like, got over the fear mm-hmm. of, of Terminators, and, you know, it goes, it, like, that pendulum swings from fear to badass. Yeah, you know oh, what I mean? Shit. And it's like, oh, yeah, this is great. I'm not fucking mm-hmm. scared of Terminators. I mean, I suppose I would be, maybe in real life, a fucking Terminator busts through the fucking wall right now, you know what I mean? An but like killing robot. Yeah, Jesus. Thanks, DARPA. Um <laughs> uh, It eats dead bodies. That's what this fucking thing eats. Uh and then um you know, uh Serenity. Uh I saw that movie in the theaters twenty seven times. I've never seen a movie in the theater that many times. No, I believe you. And like uh spoiler ish alert like a lot of main characters die in that film uh-huh. and it is a fucking brutal slug fest to the fucking finish line in that very movie. dope final though like that, that final like, fight is excellent like the stakes are all the way to the top like it's one of those movies where it's like it literally like the stakes are there you know like it, and that's you know it's a common complaint about Agreed. about films and it's like oh and the fucking course the hero is gonna fucking make it you know what I mean? But it's Not like serenity. this serenity man, like some here's fucking die. You know? Like, and it's 
you know, at the like the 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 climax of the end, like the fucking suicide mission is like holy Jesus. I remember to this day, like I had uh I had a different girlfriend at the time, and then a friend. And I remember like clenching their hands, like in that final, that final twenty minutes, and I was just like holy Jesus, and like like the audience, like everybody crying, you know. Whew. Fucking brown coats are fucking loyal fans, man. Oh goddamn right we are. God damn right you are. Um, so I would I would say something like that, and then now that I think about it, I would also probably throw the Matrix in there as well, because like, oh yeah, like that visually, you know that and like, like it made me like honestly want to start looking at philosophy like seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. That was that was a long explanation, but there you go. No, it's perfect. Uh, Mago, what was the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Ooh, well, <sighs> uh, so today <laughs> uh, we were out and about, and uh, Brock was. We saw this. Uh, we saw this milk bottle, like like breastfeeding milk bottle, mm-hmm. just sitting out randomly on a table. He took, took a chug, didn't he? And uh, Brock, goddamn right, Brock. Goddamn right you take a chug, sir. No, it wasn't Brock. Uh, Brock was like, I will buy you $100 worth of sushi if you Darn. chug. If you chug. Goddamn right, Tim. <laughs> we don't turn down a challenge. We face challenges head on because we're goddamn soldiers. <laughs> okay, but I got to stop you there because I ended up not doing it. So, But I'm just uh, saying, I thought about it real fucking hard because like, I didn't have a lot to eat today. <sighs> you say $20? Did you say $100? Of sushi. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Uh like when we came back to the milk bottle, it was sitting it had one of those fucking outdoor fire places and somebody had moved it towards the fire and you could see it bubbling. And Ooh. I was like, uh, maybe not. Hot. <laughs> it, it, was, it was maybe not. Uh, hot cocoa with that? Uh so the weirdest thing that I've ever had in my mouth, uh probably overcooked octopus. And I say oh, that with okay. emphasis because regular cooked octopus is delicious. Overcooked octopus, though, t- is it's it's like I remember sp- specifically putting it in my mouth, and instantly my brain called up uh, the Fear Factor ep- episode where they were eating uh, cow testicles. Yes, and they're like, "Oh, it's really gummy." <laughs> Joe Rogan yelling, "You put that cow ball in your yeah. mouth and chew." I know. You could do this. Goddamn Joe Rogan, you oh. animal. <laughs> uh, so I would say that, probably. I would say it's a tie between a deep fried tarantula ah! and. Ah! <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, no. And a rabbit's eyeball. Uh. The yeah. rabbit's eyeball was like, if you think of a gusher. Yeah, I've heard that too. Just... Again, fear factor. Thanks. Yeah. Just with a little bit of chew to it is what is what it was like for me. Yeah, I know because I said something spiderish. You freak out. I know. Yep. No, know. you fucking ate. Did you tell me you ate a deep fried that thing you just said? I ate the thing you. I'm fear, fucking yes. out. The show's over. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck that noise. All right, guys, we take back what we said about the show being over. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't because we were arguing. It was because I ate a spider. Uh, I ate what Tim fears most in life. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know the texture what, or anything. What it tasted like? Moving on. Question. Question. What are we on? Fourteen. Question, Tim. Question fourteen. Uh Okay, that was your question. Um. Yeah. What is? A what is a failed like toy series or toy that as a child you thought it was like the hottest shit ever, but in reality later in life you realized it's the dumbest fucking thing possible. Not too dreadful. I don't know what that is, but okay. I remember Dr. Dreffel Drink Lab. It was like, uh, like, like think 
It was like a boy version of the Easy Bake Oven, except for oh, it no. was um, <laughs> except for it was like gross stuff, like Kool Aid like, Jello it shits, tubes, oh. and like they, yeah, crunchies were in it. Yeah, that kind oh, of stuff. Oh no, <laughs> crunchy. That's yeah. fucking terrible. But at the time, you're like, yeah, Dr. I'm a Dreadful mad scientist, right? Yeah, it was called Dr. Dreadful's Drink Lab, for fuck's sake, Tim. Oh, God. Jesus. That's terrible. Okay, question 13. Yes, sir. That's you. Oh. Yeah, uh, that was my question. If you could change your name, what would it be? <sighs> or, Or what would be, like... Your porn star name. So. So a book that I wrote that is shelved for various reasons. Um, there is a main character who's essentially me. And in it, his name is Tile with a Y. Shenanigan. Mm spelled oh. just the most longest okay. awkwardest name or spelling of that you could think of <clears throat> and i kind of fucking love it <laughs> wait is that that's your pokemon go name no i'm tyler shenanigan i'm a chick oh. in pokemon go tyler shenanigan but yes that sh- like shan an i g i n like it's just it's <laughs> i don't know like i just i i wrote it down one day and it just stuck you know but it also does kind of sound like a porn star name. Shenanigan. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Mine would be uh, Maximilian Steele. So Max Steele? Yeah. <laughs> Very porn star name. It's also a TV show. And a movie and okay, a live okay, action series and toys and video games. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> how about sorry, bud. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, actually, yeah. and actually, and I hate to bring this up too. There was a dude in like Arkansas or Florida or some shit who legally changed his name to Max Steele. Okay, son of a bitch. Okay, uh, so... mine would be. <laughs> sorry to burst your bubble, man. Mars Powers. Okay. Uh, an odd mix of things, but sure, why not? Um, okay. <clears throat> oh, I was answering your question, so it's my question. Fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah. What piece of technology in the past tense did you love that you really wish if it had only had like a version two, the rest of the world could see how good it is. Game or piece of technology. Piece of technology. Yeah. Oh fuck. So like a, uh, like a device or some kind of computer hmm. thing or like a fucking blender. You know what I mean? Like a piece of technology. Uh, fuck, a piece of technology. If, if it had a version two, it would be dope. Yeah. I, I think we're, I think we're doing it right now, man. Like, think about it. Like, fuck. Explain uh, remember, yourself. <laughs> remember Motorola two way pagers? Oh, yeah. It's okay. basically what our cell phone is now. I mean, fair enough. Okay. So, um, mm-hmm, that's true. Okay. Skip it. Skip it. Bop it. Yeah. Spit it. <laughs> yeah. Remember skip it? Yeah. Or bop it. Yeah. yeah. That's how about a version 2.0 of that, but adult version. Uh they made it, buddy. Fuck my life. Okay. Fucking Google Google that shit on Amazon right now. They have an adult XL version for that. Oh, Jesus. It's like skip it, bop it, twirl it, punch it, and then it gets sexual or something. I don't know. I'm not I'm not lying to you. Look at Google it. <laughs> and I, the reason I know this is because I saw it in the back shelves of the fucking when we were going through the hallowed tomb of Toys R Us in its last mm-hmm. hours before it closed down forever. <laughs> I'm 
thinking about another. T- I'm thinking about another one because I know it's coming. What another one? Question another 12? question. Question twelve. What's your yeah. question now? I know. Uh, I mean, you're you're welcome to re-ask the question I asked to me to stall for time. Well, under what underrated TV show do you think uh, deserves a reboot? <sighs> or what? Or what classic? Or what classic TV show would you like to see a reboot of? What's the definition of classic? Because it's 2019 now. <laughs> not, not on TV at the moment. Like a full reboot. The new cast. Or, or, yeah, like a stuff. full reboot, new cast. Uh, you might have one of the older, you know, one of the classic guys that they're still alive come in, you know, do a reprise every once in a while. Oh, but okay. yeah, like a like a like how they did Battlestar Galactica. Like how they did, yes, exactly. Like how okay. they did Battlestar. Yes, 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 yes. Um, man. that's a tough one because part of me is like obviously firefly but another Mm. part of me is like i am so fucking attached to those actors you know and Mm. and one of them has died in real life so it's like that's that's not cool you know but anything is possible with that you know because like disney owns the franchise now or will in march which is crazy to think about yeah um so I'm trying to think of something like, and it's kind of odd because like another thing that pops up in my head is like, well, like Futurama, you know, that's also a good one. Um, but it like had a reboot, <laughs> essentially, kind of, you know, and continued on. Yeah. Um, and then died again. Um. Gosh. So does it have to be? Like any TV show, like animated live action, it could be any any TV show. What would you like to see come back? Like they did with Ducktales. Yeah, I mean, kind of I've thought long about th- them doing what they did with Ducktales to Tailspin because they did yeah. have a fucking Tailspin episode in Ducktales. Also, also Darkwing Duck. Um, and they had a Darkwing Duck episode in fucking also Darkwing Duck in in Ducktales. But the difference, though, for that Darkwing Duck, and I've said this before, is they got the fucking original voice actors. Yes. This blew my fucking mind. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with Batman Beyond. Ooh. You know, and I realize all those actors are still alive. Yes. But you know, and because and 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 realize and I'm really so 2019 and the opening of the show was when Batman retired because of his heart. Mm-hmm. And it's 2019 now. So it's like that show has still persisted in comic book form. You know, yeah. God bless him. God bless DC for continuing that storyline, at least in some form, you know. But I miss the show, you know. Like, and yeah, it'd probably be weird with, like, new actors. But, like, fucking, could you imagine, like, a new, like, Batman Beyond, like, like continuation? Like, even if it had a new cast. Like, yeah. Or, hell, even maybe, like like, a reboot. But not, like... Because the thing is with that is it's like, is it's a classic, you know? It's like a cult mm-hmm. classic. So it would have to be, it'd still have to be dark, you know? Um, I don't know. I think about it a lot. Like, it is severely underrated show, in my opinion. Oh, absolutely. That was both way ahead of its time, literally and figuratively. Um, yeah. Okay, so Batman Beyond. That's what I'd say. What? Wings. Oh, interesting. I love Wings. Didn't they have like a zillion seasons though? They had several. I wouldn't say a zillion. <laughs> okay. But yeah, they had they had like maybe, I think four. They had a good run. They had a good run. Oh. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh was that my question or your question? That was my question to you. Okay, so my question. What was the first time you remember seeing, like, a piece of, like, clothing or toy or object or something, and you knew you didn't have the money for it, but you were like, I'm going to fucking get the money for that thing and buy that fucking thing somehow? 
Oh, you mean my limited edition black and uh, black gold, black gold and green dragon flute? <laughs> yes, I do know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, the one that calls a fight with me and Jess? Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> You're talking, you're talking about the the one that calls the dragon's art, correct? I am indeed, sir. That's uh, that is a more than acceptable answer. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Okay, cool. What's yours? Uh, um, the one that I remember more fondly. There were some things before it, but it stands out really because it was like a lot of money. Was the Sega Dreamcast? <laughs> Like I fucking mowed people's lawns and shit for you get it? for that fucking Dreamcast. Because when I saw Sonic the Hedgehog in 3D, like real 3D, for the first time, and you can you know because back in the day you could fucking play that shit in Blockbuster and Toys R Us, like way before the shit actually came out, you know, to generate hype. Mm. It like it blew my fucking mind, and I had to have it. Like I was going to like die or erupt. If I didn't have that fucking console and Sonic on day one, which kind of fucked me in the ass because I didn't actually have Sonic on day one is really weird. Like I had the console, uh, 1999, uh, September 9th, mm -hmm. nine, uh, September 9th, 1999. Yeah. Cause it was 9999 was the uh, release date. Yeah. Great marketing on that one. Really easy to remember that. Um, Nines. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> um, and I had the Dreamcast. And, like, I had, because, like, it was, like, the thing, like, and I pre-ordered it, like, Toys R Us. But their fucking shipment for Sonic Adventure, you know, the fucking launch game was late. It was late by, like, two days. So I had the Sega Dreamcast and all of its amazing glory and the fucking demo disc that came with it. Oh, man. That was, tor that was torture, man. <laughs> that was torture. I was like, yep. I can play cool games for about five minutes at a time because it's a fucking demo disc. <laughs> I mean, it was all it was all right by the by the time of the weekend because it came out on like a Wednesday or something fucking yeah. stupid like that. Um, but yeah, that thing. Oh my god, I wheeled and dealed so hard for that. I don't know what it was. Was three hundred dollars? I don't remember. But yeah, so okay. be that. Okay, cool. All right, Tim. Yes, my heart out is approaching, so I'm going to ask one final question for. To close out the show. Okay, we'll make it a good one. Question 11. <laughs> Fork in your ear. We're in that future where we become uh, an internet sensation and we somehow get together and we do shows live. Okay. Like streaming on YouTube or whatever. Yes. Describe our set. Um, well, I feel oh. like... And... I feel like, so, <laughs> how famous are we talking here? Are we talking, like, our first live show, or are we talking, like, version 2.0 set? Uh, version 2.0 set. Okay, so our version 2.0 set uh, is the fucking, um, like, there'll, there'll be, like, a really fancy desk, and one will have chairs. However, our backdrop will not be, like, a giant like LCD screen or green screen. It will be some like made by fans of the fucking arch from Vault of Glass. And it would look really fucking cool. Like legitly made. <laughs> like legitly prop. made. Like it's fucking it, you know, it's fucking sparkles. And mm -hmm. it like is maybe perhaps suspended from the ceiling. That's yeah. Dope. That's dope. Yeah. And maybe right, I have time. Yeah. What would, what would our first live show set be then? Uh, I mean, I just described it to you. So, what do you mean? Oh, you, oh, the two point You change it? Okay. I'm, 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 oh, the first set. Um, a first set would be more practical, obviously. Yeah. A, it would a be. Desk with yeah, it would be a desk. Us. There would probably be, uh, you know, video game and 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 various, uh, paraphernalia of of nerd culture behind us um i would like to think that we somehow would have had enough money for at the very least like a giant ass tv mm -hmm. or an led screen behind us perhaps because yeah. it has been shown that that is a, a really cool thing 
and you can put whatever the fuck you want on there, and that's real cool. Um, and I would kind of hope that maybe we had like, because something that always kind of like bugged me, and like, and I get that it's a practicality thing, like you know, it's people sitting at a desk and they got like a laptop, you know, and you see mm-hmm. like a laptop, and sometimes they got fucking stickers on it. I would kind of hope that maybe we had like. I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'll fucking build a desk, you know, and it's like recessed a bit. So like you see a desk, but it's like two step, you know, so mm-hmm. the laptop's below. So yeah, like we the... can see shit, you know what but I mean? But they can't see that we see shit. Yeah, I yeah. Got it. like a prompter. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, kind of like so a prompter, like if I, I guess. To look, if I wanted to look up something, you'd see me slide my hands and type, but you wouldn't see me do it like up in obviously. Like, oh, I have a screen in front of me. I get yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I don't know, maybe that'd look weird because like your eyes would be at the very least, maybe you'd have your head forward, but your eyes would be kind of like looking down a little bit. Yeah. Um, Maybe that'd be weird. I don't know. It's just a thought because it seems to me like, you know, it's just a practicality thing. It's like, okay, yeah, of course the dude brings his laptop in and he's looking at it to read, read shit. You know, it'd be the same as if he had fucking papers like a newscaster. Is that, yeah, exactly. the, the, The papers. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. Something like that, I suppose. So. All right, Tim. That was that was that was the first official Kono. I'm looking at you. You, <laughs> the first official working your your podcast Ooh. of 2019. <laughs> I told you I'm fucking intense, Tim. Whip it's crack. an intense 2019. Whip crack. Whip crack. Yeah, it's gonna be an intense 2019. It's, tw- it's an intense 2019. Yes, it will be. Yes, Go, will baby. Be. All right. Well, then uh, uh, sign off. Good sir, co-host. What? You can find me at Bluster Knuckle Thirteen on Twitter. Uh, you can find me on PSM Blister Lister One One Three. Uh, please send me a message and say that you you you're from the cast. That way, I don't think you're some random sex bot. Uh, <laughs> it gets embarrassing. Uh, I'll be honest. You, there are a lot of sex bots. There are a lot <laughs> like, of sex bots. More now than ever in 2019. Yeah. Sex um, bots. <laughs> If you like, if you like listening to me talk about Destiny and some other deeper nerdish things like anime and manga and all that, you can find me at the RNG Cast, wherever you can find your podcasts. Cool, and I'm uh, once again author, podcaster, gamer, and Tim K. A. Trotter. You can buy my book that was mentioned and heavily inspired by the Fifth Element, The Citadel Arrival, by author Tim K. A. Trotter. Available right now on Amazon Kindle and iTunes iBooks are for only $2.99. Buy a book, support the show, because we don't have any other fucking Patreon, GoFundMes, uh, YouTube revenue, or merchandise, <laughs> or any other fucking thing. Um, and I'm going to start stressing this a little more this year. And I realize it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a reasonably old book, but uh, I know factually, not a lot of people have bought it. It's only a few bucks. And it would both A, mean the world to me, and it would really help out the show. Because um, I actually had to explain this to a friend today who didn't understand what was going on with podcasts and why it was important. And also how I had been basically operating on a loss for at least eight years in podcasting. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Mike knows. <laughs> I do. <laughs> like... We would have to be Joe Rogan level or kind of funny level of, of famous to have advertisers that will pay for podcasts because, like, we lose money monthly Every month. on the podcasts. Yes, and sir. I will definitely, I will definitely endeavor to always produce as professional a show as I can, time and literal budget permitting. Um, you know, but uh, it is it is offered for free. So if you do like the stuff, you know, support us. Or alternately, if you don't have money, you can support us by emailing and keep the conversation rolling at the show at uh, the fork in your ear podcast at gmail.com. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever. We'll read them on the air. Or by dropping us a five star uh, review and rating on your podcast app of choice or iPhone or uh, Apple Music. That would be also helpful. It yeah. gets us seen. And if you uh, type a particularly funny one, I will read it out loud. Yeah, absolutely. And if you request how you would like me to read it, I would probably try my hardest. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun thing when we had lots of fan mail on an on an old show I did. I would read things in accents. It was fantastic. Everybody loved it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and of course, join uh, the Fork Fam discussion in our Discord. Head on over to our Twitter, at GetForkPod. Click the first link there. 
in the pinned message and uh, just join and, and chat. We've been seeing uh, we've been seeing some new folks join in, and I'm I'm thankful for uh, you guys joining in. Um, it's cool. You don't have to be a lurker, so you can talk. We don't bite. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. I don't bite. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Keep uh, get forked, everybody. Shazam! 2019, we're intense. <laughs> okay, and we out. Thank you for listening to a Dynamic Works production podcast. You can find our podcast at www.dynamicworksproductions.com. Feel free to email us at dynamicworks at mac.com. Armada, the voice of Guybrush Street, but you're listening to a Dynamic Works production podcast. The Citadel, Arrival, is the first installment in a series of epic science fiction short stories reminiscent of the Pulp Fiction style. It's a fast-paced story that will take you through twists and turns that you will not expect until they are thrust upon you with all the force, excitement, and chaos of a plasma cannon blast. The story follows Katarl, a nobody cog in the working wheels of a futuristic society run completely by Megacorp, a corporation that carefully runs and manages the lives of the people living under its sphere of power. On one of Katarl's few and far between days off from work, an outing he had hoped would be fun and relaxing turns into an explosive adventure that drags him kicking and screaming into situations and challenges that will make him question every aspect of his life. Watch this colorful tapestry unfurl as Katarl and his newfound allies find their way through this classic, yet oddly surprising tale of good and evil, where nothing is quite what it appears to be. That's The Citadel Arrival by author Tim K. Trotter, available right now on Amazon Kindle Store and iTunes iBookstore for only $2.99. What's up, Tim? Hey, how's it going? It's, it's going, man. Yeah? Decent, yeah? decent day, work and sleep and... No, all that shit. sleep didn't exist, but work was okay. Work was okay. Came home. Pete has thrown up, threw up all over his uh, crate. Oh no! Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, we could just roll right into it and we can talk about it because it's. Yeah, I don't have a lot of time. Oh baby. Okay, cool. Cut in. Yeah. So. I'm going to yell cut because I have a poop explosion coming on and I will be okay. right back. <laughs> God damn it. So cut, Tim. I'll be right back. Son of a bitch. Tim's going to shit his pants. Tim's going to shit his pants. What? what? there mike yeah i'm here buddy <sighs> sorry about that you're fine that was that was an emergency okay cool uh what the fuck were we talking about because i don't um... remember <laughs> uh life stuff okay cool ready yeah okay cool cut in all right all right man that's good. Right, buddy. That's good. We Trust. should finish up that fucking questions. Yeah, I, I, I think this is like something fun we should do. Yeah, agreed. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, cool, cool. All right, man. All right, all right, Peace out. I'll, all right, talk to you later. Yeah, man. Peace out. Love you, dude. Love you, too.